Hello, Alan back with uh, Collecting Maddox. Gonna go over some uh, recent pickups that I've had. A lot of them that I'm really excited about. So another 93 SP Chipper Jones, but as you can see right there, it's got a nice little autograph on it. It's got JSA certification, so hopefully, hopefully real. Um, I mean, there's always still the worry, but I mean, your chances are definitely much better if you at least have some sort of certification. That's that's what I'm trying to tell myself. So really excited about that one. Um, <clears throat> next one, nice little Frank Thomas autograph. So first Beckett slab, um, really, really robust. <laughs> um, but yeah, really just wanted a Frank Thomas autograph. Uh, I was looking at kind of trying to get some of my cards autographed between the two of them and really to buy them already already autographed. It was the cost for both of these was about half of what it would be for everything or for just one of them. So yeah, I was kind of just decided I was going to go that route. Um, and then I was kind of... Uh, I'll go, or I guess I'll start with uh, the one that kind of inspired me. So STL Puckhead was, had a thing about uh, Stan Musial getting a JSA certified Stan Musial. And I was like, he kind of, and I always thought kind of it was out of my range um, just because, you know, he's, he's passed away uh, and really not, not as expensive, especially for an exhibit card. So I will, take that any day. So I was, again, JSA certified. So again, hopefully it's real. And then I kept on going down that rabbit hole, looking over these autographs a lot. So the Enos Slaughter on those Perez Steel postcards. And Another one, Monty Irvin. Again, one of those things that these pretty much autographs were ones that I thought I were going to be completely out of my price range that I just was really surprised when I actually got, saw them out there and I was like, okay, well, there, there's a lot. I checked through PSAs autographs what they look like legitimate autographs and all of them look legitimate i mean i'm not a professional autograph person but yeah i was just everything looked legitimate and one that i'm really really excited about probably the one i'm most excited about is warren spawn i mean i kind of get i'd say for a lot of these like the stan musual warren spawn Monty Irvin, Enos Slaughter. I guess, yeah, like the supply is very, very high is, is my, is my take on it. It's just, there's a lot of them out there. Um, but I was just excited to get them. I'm going to keep these, try to find a good place to keep them displayed without getting the autographs too too worn out. I want to keep them out and have them wear down. And then it's not, you just have this faded autograph, but I still want to look at them relatively frequently. So, um, yeah, looking at getting a good card display for those probably because I still want to look at them and then something that has some sort of UV protection just, to, just to keep it off the light a little bit more. Um, cause yeah, I was very excited about getting all of these. This was, uh, fairly inexpensive and well within my price range. Like usually I just would have thought it would have been a lot more. <laughs> I was just really, really kind of dumbfounded and they all seem legitimate. So if you're looking at it and you're like, no, those are fake. Um, I'd like to know it's more just knowing, but it does have the JSA certification. So I'm at least hopeful that, that they're real. All right. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thanks. Bye.